everybody and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video in a while so I think it's about time I got back into doing them. I've just been crazy busy like the rest of the world. But before I go any further I'd like to apologise for scaring you as soon as you turn on this video because I have no makeup and that's the purpose of this video is to show you my morning routine before I go to work. I have to put on some sort of a face because I deal with the public and nobody needs to see this. It's it's just scary. It's not welcome in society. So I'm going to do a, a video really quick on how I do my face in the morning, what I apply, what I use and it shouldn't take too long and I hope I don't bore you. So let's get cracking. Okay so the first thing I'm going to use is my moisturiser. Um, I swap between a couple of different ones as I've said before. What I'm using this morning is actually what I call a moisturiser and a tanner all in one and it's the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tan. That's it there. So it's meant to be odourless, there's a slight odour to it, so I put that all over. I'm just going to be looking in the mirror here and chant you. So that's going on like a moisturiser. And as you can see, I have really, really high coloration. I have quite red as soon as I touch my skin. Now I haven't got sensitive skin regarding makeup. Um, I'm quite tolerant to a lot of makeup, to be honest. Um, but when I touch my skin, as you can see now, I put that on, so my face has gone quite red. Um, but it, it's actually a really, really nice feel to it. And because, the reason I use this is because I am quite pale. I'm going to bring it all the way down, and I use it as a moisturiser here too. Um, as I said, I am quite pale, so I wouldn't use this every day. But I would use it probably twice a week. And I haven't used it in a while, and my skin is quite... I had a small little bit of a colour on my face from been away but it's gradually gone so that's that and as you can see I've had the crappiest time with my skin lately I don't have great skin um, and I have a lot of kind of breakouts and stuff like that so we'll be doing our best today to hide them okay the first part of my makeup is my concealer because I have I don't I don't know if you'd actually call them bags but like most people I always end up with really dark circles and I have a lot of blue kind of tones under my eyes so this is a little miracle in a tube. It's the one I've, I've spoken about before. It's a collection, last in perfection, uh, ultimate wear concealer. And this is a number one fair. I actually have another one as well that's a little bit darker and I mix the two of them. So this is how I apply this. I go in right under the eye, right up into my eyelash and I come down all the way. The joys of watching YouTube videos so you learn how to do this. And the same on the other one, all the way down to give me that. It's beautiful, isn't it? So everybody needs to see. And then I actually just dab a little bit because I have the same kind of blue tones and sort of very thin skin around my eye. I pop it on the top of my eye too. And then I have a foundation brush. This was a collection I got on Amazon. Um, I spoke about them before. They're really, really good, and I think Amazon still do them. You can get a whole roll of them. There's about 20, so 23 or 24 of them. 23 or 24 of them, it's not even the proper number. About 24 of them, I'd say, um, in a roll, and they're not expensive, and they're really, really good quality. So I'm just blending that all the way in, right down. As you can see, it's kind of covering a lot of the redness in my cheek area as well. You can see, and I do exactly the same over my eye. And that is such a great little concealer. Um, really cheap as chips. I think it's about six euro. And yeah, that's the concealer. It's my concealer done. I'm just using natural light because this is the light I'd use every morning. So I hope you can kind of make it out. Um, so the next thing I use is, I haven't been using an actual foundation going to work because because I have such a mm, crappy skin, I feel sometimes it can clog my pores, especially when I have little breakouts like this going on. Like, what is this about? Oh drives me mad. Anyway, I I swap between powders and I've been using a powder for the last while and this one I got the other day which I thought oh, I'm gonna give it a go. It's kind of cheap as chips and this is the Catrice HD Multi Talent Powder and Makeup. Now it says on it that you can actually use it as a powder or if you use a beauty blender with it you can actually have it as a foundation as well. So that's, it looks really really bright there but it's actually not. This is number 40 Warm Beige. And I have an angled Smashbox brush, which I have for a year and forever. And I literally just 
sweep it over and then I start applying it. Now it doesn't give great coverage. It's not going to give you the coverage that a foundation will give but because of the way my skin is the past while and I have really crappy skin as I said before when I was in my 20s. It wasn't too bad in my 30s and now I'm in my 40s. It's decided to act up again and it's quite greasy still at the minute um, around here, the normal places and then out here it decides to be dry so how I'm getting these breakouts I don't know but let me just, we'll just forget about it for now so I apply that all over and you can see with so much precision not but it just gives a nice finish to my face the light is not really great today it's half sunny and it's half dark and then it's raining typical Irish weather and then it's windy and then it's just off weather so enough weather chat and then I end up I do actually put a bronzer on my neck so that's why I kind of just keep the powder to my face and then all the way onto the eye and the eye too so that's it you can see it doesn't give amazing coverage but it gives a lovely feel to the face and I really like it I have to say that's a really nice one I have a Chanel one as well I've used loads of different ones again like I said before I'm one of those people that tries out different brands and if I like I'll definitely buy that one again so now I'm going to show you what I put on my eyes generally I stick with the same kind of Do you hear my stupid dog barking at nothing probably at nothing Going to kill him. Okay, so we're quickly going to move on to eyes now that I've stopped the dog barking. And lately I've been using, or most of the time I've been using the um, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which I really love. Now most of the colours I use in it, as you can see, they are all well loved and all well used. And I'm going to go all over my eye with um, the two I use the most are Blonde and Skimp, which are, let me see if I can show you these in this one. And this one so we're going to use this one today um, and this is blonde so there's not much of a shimmer to it so I'm just going to pop that all over like so and again because I've got the little bit of concealer on it will actually you know, it looks really bright there it will actually kind of stay I find because I'm not putting on a lot of makeup for during the week, I don't go with primers and eye primers and face primers. The small little bit of concealer on my lids just actually works for me. And that looks kind of bright, but when I put on the rest of the colors, it's not going to look that scary. So that's my all over. So the next color I put on is actually Punk, and I put some of it on already because it takes a while to blend. And Punk is actually the darker one in the corner. So it's this one here. And I've got a Smashbox um, slightly tapered brush that I got in a collection of travel brushes from Smashbox. It's really, really good. So I literally have just gone in, put it all over my lid, and um, again right up into the socket and blend, 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 which takes forever. So that's why I've applied some of it already, just to show you. So I'm just going all the way up into my socket. It's all about blending, isn't it? So there's no harsh lines, which I think I don't have. And then I look in another mirror, and some I normally do so all about the blending so that's the punk color all over my lid and it's quite a strong color so you don't actually need a lot of it on the brush as you can see it's a bit clown looking now but I haven't actually finished so I'll let you see there blending in to get rid of any harsh lines and bring it all I bring it all the way up and the same on this side of that and that's it so that's my dark all over colour and I will fix it on the edges later and then I get a really really sharp um, liner brush like this one here which is I got in another collection of makeup brushes I don't know where from but it's if you have anything like this and then I get that colour again which is the punk and to even out because I'm quite dark here now I go under my waterline where my lashes are with that because I think it's not as harsh as a pencil and it's perfect for day and I blended it then as well so I'm just going to do the same on this eye here with such precision again not 
and that's that. So it looks quite harsh, but I shall blend that out too. So that's this, the, the main part of it done, and then I'll work on to my So I've just blended that out slightly a little bit more to get any the harsh lines kind of gone. It still looks a little bit dramatic, but you'll see when I'm finished. So this is probably the most important part for me. I have brow all over the place going on, as you can see. They're not dark and they're not fair and they're sparse and they're, mm, yeah, I didn't go there. So um, the pencil I'm using at the minute is actually a number seven, believe it or not, me and my number seven. And this is Beautiful Eye Pencils in, I think it's just brown, yep. Yeah. So you have your little spoolie on the end and you've got your sharp brush there too. So the way I generally do it is I go, uh, I line underneath first. Um, with slight little feather movements so I don't get too much of a harsh line and I try to give it some type of an arch because I don't as you can see I don't have much shape and much arch to my brows now it's going to look a bit scary at first um, but I'm sure you when I'm finished it's not going to look as bad so I bring that all the way up as you can see and I do the same I'll actually show you the difference. I'll do one eyebrow and one without. And I have the worst eyebrow shape in the world until I try to do something with them. So I just kind of go along. I try not to pluck my eyebrows too much either. Uh, because, as I say, I don't have the greatest shape. So that's giving me a little bit more definition. As you can see, this one is a disaster in the making. And this one has a little bit of an arch to it. Um, and then I just turn my pencil sideways so I don't get any harsh lines again and I just fill them in. Like so, you don't want it to look too severe. And I am quite pale skinned and fair haired so I don't want my brows to look too dark. So that's a quick whip of the spoolie up. There, now. Like seriously. Look at the difference an eyebrow can make, a decent eyebrow. So that's literally how I do it and I don't think it looks too, I haven't finished any of this, but I don't think it looks too crazy or too dark. I'll just go over any little bits I've missed and you just brush it out and yep, that's it. I won't bore you with the other one, so I'll just do that and I'll be back to you. So that's the two brows done. I'm starting to look a little bit more normal now, um, but I have no mascara on so that's the next thing I'm going to show you and the one I've been using at the minute is one that Karen recommended from Lovely Girly Bits. If you don't follow her on Snapchat you're missing out big time. The girl is hilarious. She's an Irish beauty blogger, vlogger, does loads of recommendations with foundation and mascara and everything and anything she recommends I always give a try to. So this is the, another Catrice Glam and Doll. I actually put it up on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago and like that I'm a sucker for mascara so as soon as someone recommend, recommends them I will give them a go. This for the price is brilliant. I think it's about about seven euro I want to say but it's just oh, for the price of it it's brilliant. Um, so it has a little plastic spoolie. It doesn't have all the feather links on it so I'm just going to take the end of it mascara off and literally go in like so and I won't for you for ages doing this I'll just give you a quick demo of how I put it on you can see that it's really really black it's the blackest black um, and I have decent eyelashes but I don't have any color in they're really really fair so I give this about two or three coats which I'll do now and I'll come back to you and show you the end result Okay, so that's the mascara done, the Catrice one. Um, that's two coats of it, so I'll give you a scary close-up. And look, that is just, for the price of that mascara, I think it is pretty cool. So that makes me look even a little bit more normal again. And now I'm just going to go in with a number seven eye pencil. And this is the Amazing Eyes, and it's in black. And it has the little blender on the end, and the black there. So I'm going to just get rid of that really harsh line of my waterline. And just put a little bit of black in here, like so. And the same on the other eye. And then with a the little blender on the end, I'm just going to blend it in with a little bit of eyeshadow that I have underneath. 
and the same on the other so that makes me look a little bit more presentable for work so next I'm just going to get rid of this really harsh line which I probably should have done first before my mascara and I just have a little blending brush which could be like a little concealer or anything for the under eyes and I'm just using MAC uh, NW20 it's in the little pot and it's quite bright but any kind of little cream conceal like that and I'm just going to pop it onto the edge of the brush and I literally just in my mirror here I'm literally just going to sweep it across as you can see to get rid of now that looks quite harsh but I just and blend it out like so and it just gives better look to the eye than having can't be having all that dark down the edge so like so and then what I do is I get a very very small skinny angled brush again for under my brow to kind of give it a bit more of a sharper look and to clean up anything that I didn't do with a really straight hand or straight line which I don't have great precision either as I said to you before and it just gives a sharper line if you can see and the same underneath in case it's too much darkness yeah and then I'll do the same on this <clears throat> And that's the eyes done. A bit more normal now, what do you think? Now, quickly for my blush, my last kind of end bit, um, I'm using at the minute the Burberry Warm Glow, no, yes, Warm Glow number three. That's it there, and that's it. It's actually not too dark. It actually smells lovely. It's not very often you'd get um, a bronzer that just smells so nice. And this is the Real Techniques. It's a big, big blush brush. I didn't actually want to use this because it was too pretty, but sure, there's no point in having it if you don't use it. So, again, I just across the top to give a little bit of a glow. And again, I have my self tan on, so as the day goes on, that will actually come up and I'll be a little bit darker. Not much. And then I just sweep a little bit. I don't use blush, I just use a bronzer. Simple reason being that I have quite high coloration, and sometimes during the day my face can look a little bit red. So, if I put blush on top of it, I feel it's not a good look at all so just to give a bit of colour to my cheek I just sweep that across there and I'm not a contour girl during the day if I was going out I would try to contour as best I can but during the day I wouldn't go through all that so then I just blend it from the neck down and I normally have a self tan on as well I have a little bit of a colour left from holidays not much but that's my blush technique it's so professional not isn't it so normally during the week I just use a very nudey color on my lips um, and this one is one I've been kind of using lately again it's a Kaiko pencil lip gloss and it's number it's number I don't know because I can't see it oh no it's number nine yeah number nine and it's just a simple nude and I pop this all over and then I put a lip gloss on over it so See, it's quite. Kaiko lips are very, very good. They're not drying. Oh, I love this. It just feels really nice. Hmm, scary goes up. Okay, I'll finish that and show you the end result. So that's it done. That's the Kaiko number six lip. It's pencil lip gloss. It does give a nice sheen to the lips. I don't generally put on a really heavy lip in work. I don't do it lip line and Max Spice is probably my favourite but I don't do that during the week because my eyes tend to be a lot heavier so I don't kind of do both. It's a bit much I suppose for work for me. So that's the lip pencil and then I go over it in the Kaiko Super Gloss and this is 113 and this is my favourite lip gloss in the whole wild world and it's got a gold shimmer to it if you can see it. Oh, I just love it. That's 113 and I also have 112 because when I went to the Kaiko shop they didn't have 113 so I bought 112 and it's very similar if you can see but this one is my favourite it has more it's much more shimmer to it and oh, I just love them and these are really cheap as well please Kaiko open the store here please so I can be permanently broke and buy everything because you can only get it in, in there's no Kaiko in Ireland they deliver but I'm just too lazy to be going through all that so you can get Kaiko in England and obviously when you're on holidays in France, Spain, Ibiza, oh, I just love the Kaiko shops. So 
comes on a little sponge applicator. Oh lads, it's just my favourite, I just love it. So I'm just going to pop it all over. Oh, I just love it. Why did I only buy one? I always do this. My favourite ones and I buy one. Should be buying like a hundred more because I just go through them. So that's Kaiko in number 113. And that's me done. Of course, I can't put my hair like that, so I take the hair down and straighten it. But that's my makeup routine. I think I'd be a lot more acceptable in public. What do you think? Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll have a couple more videos coming up. I just need to get back into doing them. And oh, it's just getting the time. Um, and I hope everybody's doing well and love keeping in touch with you on Instagram and having a chat. So yeah, that's it. I'm normal again. Well, I'm nearly normal again. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.